Hey, what's up everyone? Nick here and welcome to a video that I have been wanting to make for a long time. So to give you a brief background, a while ago I mentioned the idea of making this video where I show off my trophy collection to you guys. Now, I've seen videos like this from YouTubers I follow and I really enjoy them because I like to see what trophies my favorite people to watch, I like to see what trophies they have earned. I've gotten into trophy hunting a lot over the past couple of years. I, I used to be primarily just Xbox and I was a big achievement hunter, but over the past couple of years I've just kind of switched to PlayStation, so my trophy collection isn't enormous by any means. It's, it's the product of about two years of playing on the PlayStation and probably like one year of actually taking, taking trophy hunting semi-seriously. But nevertheless, over the past couple of months, I've been working on completing some of the games that I had low uh, percentages on because I have a number of games that I've purchased that I haven't played yet because I didn't want to keep adding to my trophy list until I was content with where it was at. So I could talk forever about this. I have a lot of trophies to go over. So let's just get right into it. You can see here I'm on my home screen for the PlayStation. And before I actually click into the individual trophies, you can see my statistics here. So I have a total of 1520. I'm at level 16. I have 33 Platinums, and then you can see the other ones right there. Now, for those of you who are watching who maybe don't know what the Platinum is, because that is something I'm going to be talking a lot about a lot in this video, uh, if, you, if, you're, if you play Xbox and you get all of the achievements, you get 100% of the achievements. On PlayStation, it's the same thing. You get 100% of the trophies, but then you unlock a bonus trophy, which is just called the Platinum Trophy. So when somebody says that they've gotten the Platinum Trophy for a game, that's basically the equivalent of saying, I got 100% of the achievements. Now, not every game has a Platinum, as I will discuss once we get into this. So let's go ahead and go to my trophy collection. You can see some of these initial games right here. They're not in any particular order. I think PlayStation orders them based on the last time, like what game you played most recently. So I'm actually just gonna breeze through this and I'm gonna start from the bottom. So these are the games that I haven't played in a long time. And we'll just go through them one by one. Some of them I'll talk about a little bit. Some of them I might spend a little more time on just to kind of show you guys the games I'm into and what type of trophies I like going after. So I will start off by saying uh, most of the games that I've completed are games that I took seriously and I had a lot of fun and I was actually proud of getting the Platinum Trophy. But there are also a couple games on this list that were just easy Platinums. Like these, these games are kind of jokes of a game that you could get for the PlayStation Store uh, for a dollar. You could get the Platinum in like 20 minutes. Um, and those were just games where like if I had a leftover balance in my PlayStation account, I picked them up just because why not? I'll get the trophy. So those aren't trophies I'm proud of. Those are just kind of stat padding. But um, the majority, as you'll see, are games that I'm actually proud of. So first game here, Flower. This is, a, in my opinion, kind of a stupid game. You can see there's no platinum for it. It's just 100%. Uh, this is a little just, I don't even know how to explain this game. I didn't have a lot of fun with it, but it was a game that I got when I first got my PS4. It was on sale in the PS4 store for like two bucks and you know, I just had bought the console so I wanted to play as much as I could. So I picked it up and I 100%ed it, but it really wasn't that uh, exciting. Now, Outlast, this is a game you can see I have 100% in both the main game and the Whistleblower DLC. This was a lot of fun. This was one of my first uh, proud games to get the 100% on. Now, unfortunately, for some reason, this game does not have a Platinum, which I think is ridiculous, because you can see this trophy right here, Lunatic, this was the hardest one. You had to beat the entire game without dying. That's what Insane Mode is. So it's basically a permadeath challenge for the game. Took me about five tries, and um, it was tough. It, it, but it was a really fun game, and it was one that I actually enjoyed going after. It was one of the few permadeath games that I actually enjoyed. Um, next you can see the two Metro games. So on the PlayStation they made this like Metro collection with uh, 2033 and Last Light. And both of these games had Platinums. The trophies weren't very hard. These were just kind of standard first person shooters. They were fun enough, but um, they're not games that I'd ever play again. It was just one of those things that it was fun while it lasted. Now, the next two games you can see are the Telltale Walking Dead games. Uh, these games are typically notorious for being very easy Platinum. So you can see here, this is the first season. There was a Platinum involved along with the DLC, 100%, 100%. But then for some reason with Season 2, they did not give it a Platinum. I think this is one of the few Telltale games that didn't have a Platinum. But the beauty of the Telltale games, if you're a trophy hunter, 
it's really just beat the game. Like, there are no other trophies that actually require you to do anything other than just beating the game, so that's always good for trophy hunting. Now, right here, Guitar Hero Live, this game is a thorn in my side. You can see I have 97%. If you've ever played a Guitar Hero game or a Rock Band game, you know that um, typically these games are impossible to 100% because there's usually a thing involved for, like, beating every song on expert difficulty with five stars and all that crap. And I'm not very good at these music games, but with Guitar Hero Live, they changed it, and there were no uh, difficulty-related trophies. But as you can see, I'm at 97%, and that's because I'm missing one trophy, which is this ridiculous Strumillionaire trophy, where you have to strum the guitar one million times in the live mode of the game. And one million, I don't know if that sounds like a lot to you or not, but it's a lot of strums. It, it is a lot of strums. And I, after playing the game a lot when it first came out, I had only gotten to like 200,000. And to get that trophy, I would basically just have to sit there and strum for like a complete day. And it would be the most mind-numbing thing in the world. And it, I just, you know, as, as serious, I, I do take trophy hunting somewhat seriously, but every once in a while, if you're a trophy hunter, you know this. Um, there are certain trophies that just aren't worth it. It's just not worth what you'd have to go through to get it. And this is one where because, like, sure, you could say that this is challenging, but it's not fun. And if it's not fun, I'm not going to waste my time doing it if I'm not going to get any sense of satisfaction afterwards. So this is one that I decided to just ignore, and I'm perfectly okay with that. Now, right here, this is my favorite game of all time, Uncharted Drake's Fortune. You can see that I got 100% both uh, main game and DLC. 100%ing the main game isn't too difficult. You get the Platinum Trophy, the hardest thing you have to do is beat the game on Crushing. But with this remastered version of the game, they actually introduced a new difficulty called Brutal Mode, and that was one of the toughest difficulties I've ever done. I have walkthroughs for it on my channel if you want to check it out, but... Um, so you can see, for beating the game on Brutal, they didn't make that necessary for getting the Platinum, but whenever I care about a game a lot, I like to still try to get 100% even on the DLC stuff. So that's why I kind of made it an effort to get 100% and the Platinum in this game. Here's another Telltale Walking Dead game. This was like a spin-off based on the comic book. Well, all of them are based off the comic book universe, but this is the Michonne spin-off. Once again, you can see it's just an easy 100%. Nothing really going on there. Here is Uncharted 2 from the same remastered trilogy package, and kind of the same thing applies. You can 100% the main game, get the Platinum, and then for the DLC, you have Beat the Game on Brutal. You can see only 0.3% of people have done it, so maybe that will give you an idea for how hard it is. Um, but yeah, so, so Uncharted 2, and then let's see, Batman. Once again, this is another Telltale game, a fantastic Telltale game, by the way. But um, yeah, once again, just a one easy 100% platinum. Now, uh, The Order 1886, this was a kind of disappointing PlayStation game, as most of you probably know. It was fun, though. I enjoyed it, but it's one of those games that you really just play it once and never touch it again. It's also one of those games where they have very detailed cinematic and long cutscenes that you cannot skip, so it's just a nightmare to get through it. But you can see there's a lot of gold trophies, um, a lot of gold and silvers here. There's not a single bronze trophy on this list. And then there's the platinum. Um, once again, easy enough platinum. Difficulty doesn't make a difference. I'd say just grinding for the collectibles is, is one of the things you're going to have to get through. Now, right here, this is the Batman Arkham Asylum remastered version. And I got the platinum trophy 100%. Um, for difficulty, you just had to beat the game on hard, which is something you guys saw me do in my walkthrough. Now, notice this is the PS4 version, and I say that because I recently also just played the PS3 version, and I also got the Platinum in that, so it's kind of cool because that's two Platinum trophies from the same game. Uh, but Arkham Asylum is actually really easy to Platinum, and I've done it quite a few times. I, I own it on Xbox 360 and Xbox One, and I've gotten all of the achievements three separate times, so it's just... This is a game I know like the back of my hand. Now, The Witness, this is one that's always going to piss me off. This is a game I wish I had never purchased. I did not have fun with it at all. Um, and I basically, like, I think one of these trophies I got by myself, and then the rest of them I just, I used a walkthrough because I could not deal with this. Now, unfortunately, the last trophy I need is the Challenge Trophy, and uh, 
It's for beating this puzzle at the very end of the game. Now, a lot of people, they were able to get this trophy when the game first came out based on a little glitch in the system that uh, PS4 Trophies, the YouTube channel, they pointed out. But unfortunately, there was a patch for it. And so to get this trophy, you actually have to solve that puzzle uh, legitimately, which is very, very hard to do. And I just did not have the patience to do it. And once again, I just did not have fun with this game at all. So going for that platinum just wasn't worth it for me. So I was okay. Um, kind of ditching that one. So next we got What Remains of Edith Finch. This is a game that uh, I hadn't heard much about before it came out, but I picked it up. And uh, as you can, it's a pretty easy 100%. Once again, there's no platinum involved. I have a video for it on my channel if you want to check it out, but nothing, nothing special there. Next is Black the Fall. This is just a simple little platforming game. Uh, once again, kind of an easy platinum trophy. And once again, I have a walkthrough for it on my channel. But once again, not much going on there, in my opinion. Um, Hellblade, Senna was Sacrifice. This is a really, really good game. It's a fun, enjoyable game that uh, one, of, one of the people you probably see on my videos named Leon, uh, him and I talked about this game quite a bit when it first came out. We both played it. We both platinumed it. And uh, all of the trophies, you can see most of them are gold. All of them are story-related. The only uh, missable trophy is for getting all of the lore stones, which is... Again, something I did on my channel, but um, yeah, aside from getting those lore stones, it's a very, very, very easy platinum. And it's also just a very enjoyable game. Definitely recommend it for not only trophy hunters, but just gamers in general. Um, now I'm going to skip one up. This is Uncharted 3. So that once again, this is from the Uncharted Remastered Trilogy. And once again, you can see 100% on both categories here. Beat the game on Brutal. This was probably um, the easiest one to beat on Brutal, in my opinion. The first one was the hardest, the second one second hardest. And then we have Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Um, again, I have walkthroughs for all of these games on my channel, but uh, this followed the same kind of format of the, un the rest of the Uncharted games. This was the spin-off that featured Chloe Frazier and Nadine Ross as the two main characters. Um, the difficulty here was for beating the game on Crushing. Luckily, there was no brutal difficulty in this uh, spin-off game. And then, like every Uncharted games, the trophies revolved around finding treasures, doing certain combat things, and then just a bunch of fun miscellaneous trophies. Um, Uncharted is made by Naughty Dog, and I think they always do a really good job at making trophy lists. And then here we have Uncharted 4. Now, you'll notice out of all five Uncharted games, this is the only one that I don't have 100% in, but I do have the Platinum. And as you can see here, that's because I got 100% on the main game, which netted me the Platinum. But uh, there's some DLC involved, and unlike the other games, this DLC is um, its not really uh, story-related. It's like this little survival mode thing that I just, once again, don't have fun with. So one day I do plan on sitting down and doing these bronze ones because I think it'll be easy. But this one here, this silver one, um, this supposedly is actually really difficult. And once again, it's one of those things that I just don't think it's worth it just to get 100%. Like, I'd rather walk away with the Platinum for this game than grinding for 100% on something that I don't even have fun with. Um, and that's kind of my philosophy with trophy hunting. Like, you gotta have fun with it. You gotta maybe take it seriously if you are gonna get into it. But you can only go so far. Like, I think some people definitely take it a bit too seriously to where they just play games that don't even entertain them in the slightest. And it's at that point, it's like, I don't know if it's even worth it. Um, now here, the, this is one, this is one of my Platinums that I am most proud of. This is for Crash Bandicoot 1. Oh, whoop, no, sorry. This is for Crash Bandicoot 3. So you can see here, this is for Crash 3 and Crash 2. I got the Platinums. Um, those were definitely difficult, but nowhere near as difficult for getting the Platinum in the first game, which I'll cover in a moment. But still, uh, being able to get the Platinum on all three of the original Crash games, those are definitely three of my uh, proudest trophies. Oh, I'll skip one up. So here's here's Crash right here. You can see this is the only one that featured a bit of DLC for the secret level. Uh, I can't even rem remember what that level is called. Off the oh, Stormy Ascent, I think. Um, it, and so you get two trophies for that. But you can see here I got 100% on the main game. And the hardest part of this was, without a doubt, the time trials. So you can see if I can find it right here. Um, practice makes perfect. Get all 26 gold, uh, relics, gold or better. This was a trophy that I never thought I'd be able to get. I must have quit trying to get it like 15 times. I'm not kidding. And just over, over time, I just persisted. I kept going. I kept getting better. I kept practicing. And finally, I got it. 
And believe it or not, it was actually this game that really kind of uh, started my trophy hunting because before platinuming this game, I didn't really care too much about platinuming games. I didn't care about trophy hunting. But once I platinumed this game, I kind of got hit with this refresher because I did have a PS3 back in high school and I took trophy hunting very seriously because I had a lot more time back then. But once I got the platinum for this game, I was so proud of it that it kind of rejuvenated this, this trophy hunting instinct within me. And after I got the plat for this game, I, I ended up starting to take it a bit more seriously. And this is the game that really kind of started the collection I'm showing you now. Now here's two games, uh, Rhyme and Planet of the Eyes, both games um, you can get on the PS4 store. I wouldn't recommend them. Planet of the Eyes is a really easy platinum, you can get it in 50 minutes. Rhyme is a bit longer and it's just not very enjoyable. Um, two games that I thought looked fun when I bought them, but I ended up not really caring for them, but I decided to stick it out for the platinum anyway. Now here's one, once again, I'm very proud of, The Last of Us Remastered. Um, so I not only got 100% for the main game, and that took me a long time because most of these are story related, which I did without a problem. But um, there's two right here that are, you can only get these in multiplayer. Actually, there's like four. And those took me a long time because I just never actually played the multiplayer for this game. So I made a video a couple months ago where I actually recorded myself unlocking the Platinum and a lot of you guys really enjoyed that. And then you can see there's a lot of DLC stuff here. Um, these two are for multiplayer stuff. Grounded mode is for beating the game on Grounded, which was really, really tough, but a lot of fun. Really a lot of fun. And then here's uh, Left Behind. This was the little DLC storyline featuring Ellie at the end of the game. Uh, let me know what you guys think of The Last of Us, because The Last of Us 2 was just revealed a lot more at E3, and I still want to make a walkthrough for this game, but I'm not sure if it, it would be worth it this late into the, into the game, but uh, let me know. Let me know if you'd like to see some Last of Us stuff on my channel, because it's truly a, a masterpiece of a game. And once again, it's made by Naughty Dog, so that shouldn't come as much of a surprise. Uh, Little Nightmares, this is a very special game for me because you can see the hardest trophy for this game is called Hard to the Core. I was the first person on YouTube to make a walkthrough for this, and it is my second highest viewed video on my channel. I think it has almost 20,000 views or something like that. And that was really hard, so the only problem I had with this game, and I really kind of ripped into it during that video, was the fact that there's no Platinum. Like, getting this was, was really difficult, and I, I thought I deserved a Platinum, and I think anyone who does do it deserves a Platinum. But, you know, what are you going to do? And then there's three DLCs, which are a lot of fun. Uh, the trophies for these are, are very simple, they're basically just get the collectibles. Um, but yeah, so 100% on this game as well. If you haven't noticed, the trend here is mostly either 100% or at least Platinums and still high percentages. Now, Little Adventure on the Prairie, this is one of the games I was talking about that I don't like to brag about. This is just, you can literally get this Platinum in 10 minutes. It is the easiest game in the world. It, it's really cheap on the PS4 store and this was just a game I just had one night where I felt like trophy hunting and I decided to stoop to that level where I just picked up any easy game for like two bucks just to get a platinum. So not very proud of this one, but it is what it is. Now I'll skip one more. Um, my name is Mayo. This is a very notorious game. This is the stupidest platinum trophy in the world. And yes, I do have it. So I'm not even going to talk about this. If you want to see how stupid the platinum is, look it up on YouTube. There is a plethora of videos for that. Now, right here, Jack and Daxter, The Precursor Legacy. This was a really fun game, and this was a fun Platinum. Uh, this was a classic, like, PS2 platforming game. I never played it because I didn't have a PS2 as a kid, but I actually got a free digital copy when I pre-ordered Uncharted The Lost Legacy because, once again, this is made by Naughty Dog. And so the majority of this um, is collectibles. You can see there's, like, Power Cells, Scout Flies, Precursor Orbs. So it is a bit of a grind, but it's a fun game, and I did have a good time with it. Now here's Arkham Knight. Um, again, you can see I have the Platinum. There's a lot of DLC for this game, and you can see I mostly have 100%, but there are a couple. Um, there's just too much DLC, and they're really stupid. It's all just with like extra Batmobile skins and stuff, and the trophies just aren't a lot of fun. So with this game, I was content with 90%. Um, uh, you know, I, I could really sit down and grind these out. Like the Batmobile ones, I actually might do those. But um, this community challenge pack, these four trophies are ridiculously difficult, and I just don't think it's worth sitting down and trying to do those, because I honestly don't think I'm good enough to do those. Now here's Resident Evil 4, uh, one of my favorite games of all time. 
Unfortunately, no platinum. There is a trophy for beating the game on the hardest setting, which if you're interested, I just did a professional difficulty, no damage walkthrough, which you can find on my channel. Um, but yeah, fun game here. Wish I had a platinum, but uh, oh well. Now, Midnight Deluxe, once again, just a stupid game I picked up off the PS4 store. You can get the Platinum in 20 minutes. Um, it's up to you. If you're a trophy hunter, I'd say go for it, but if not, it's not worth it. Burly Men at Sea, this is one of the stupidest games I've ever played, but once again, it's just an easy Platinum. And this was another one where I was just bored one night. I had a little extra money in my PS4 account, and I saw this game, and people said it was an easy Platinum. So I stooped to that level and said, all right, give it to me. I'll get it done. So not very fun. Uh, Grim Fandango Remastered. This is a game that I got for free. I can't remember how. I think I got it through the PlayStation Plus free game of the month like years ago, and I never played it, and I didn't plan on playing it, but then once I got into trophy hunting, I didn't like, because I only had like 2% on this game, and I didn't like seeing that. So finally, I took like a week, and I sat down and just played a little bit every night, and uh, if you follow a walkthrough, like a very detailed trophy guide, you can get the Platinum in one playthrough. It's just, it's not very enjoyable. Like, I didn't have a lot of fun with this game, but it is a good game and I would recommend it. Um, Until Dawn, pretty uh, popular game. This is a story or a choice driven game. Um, easy Platinum, you could get it in one and a half playthroughs or two if you want to do two full playthroughs. But pretty fun. And I actually only just recently got this trophy or this Platinum when I did the Everybody Dies walkthrough because that was like the last trophy I needed. Um, Outlast 2, we're getting towards the top of the list, so this is one that I just very recently did. And this was one that I was really not looking forward to. If you remember, I already did Outlast 1, I got the Platinum for that game. Uh, or sorry, I got 100% for that game, but that one didn't have a Platinum. But as you can see, the sequel did, and it was basically the same thing. You had to beat the game on Insane Mode, which is permadeath. The caveat here is that you had to do it for this Messiah Trophy. You not only had to beat the game on Insane, but you had to do it with only using one camera battery, which was quite the challenge. Now, luckily, I didn't get to this game until very late, so as every pa they keep patching this game, and with every patch, it seems like the game just gets easier and easier. So luckily, I did this a uh, bit later in the game, so for me, it, it honestly wasn't that difficult. I did it on my sixth or seventh try, but um, I've heard horror stories, trust me, from people who this game just made them rip their hair out, and it was one of the worst gaming experiences of their life. So I'm, I'm kind of glad I, I waited for that one. Um, now, MLB The Show, this is one that kind of pisses me off. This is a game that I got from my best friend Ian. When I first got my PS4, he gave it to me because he got like the new one at the time. And um, I'm not very good at this game, but there was a day where Ian and I just sat down and we just worked on getting trophies and he was really good. So he actually unlocked a lot of these. So thank you, Ian. Um, but I also got a few too. I got some. I got some good ones that I was pretty proud of. I got the. Uh, I got the claw, and I also got this one. I got pitchers who rake, which is hitting a home run with a pitcher. And I also got this one. If I can find it, um, I don't know where it is, but it's for getting um, seven RBIs. This one, yeah, seven RBIs with one player. That was kind of tough, and I was actually pretty proud to get that one. Now the stupid thing about this game, the reason I ended up settling on seventy percent is this la this trophy here is completely luck based you have to rob a home run it's just annoying and i don't want to do it and the reason i don't want to do it is because the this one here this trophy and then these last ones here you can only get these trophies through the game's online mode and in october of 2017 they shut down the online server so now it is virtually impossible to get these trophies Thus, it's, uh, it, it's uh, virtually impossible to get the Platinum Trophy. So I'm not going to waste my time with this one if I can't even get the Platinum in the end. So I think that's really stupid. I think that if they shut down the servers, they should give you the trophies for free. But again, it's, there's no point in getting upset about it because there's not much I can do. And now to my uh, most recent ones, Doom. I got the Platinum. I showed the video of me getting the Platinum. And I'm, I'm going to leave it at 66% for two reasons. One... All of these are multiplayer DLCs. I don't play the multiplayer, I don't like the multiplayer, and I don't care for getting DLC trophies. So I'm never gonna get these. I, I just, I'm fine with that. I don't care. I don't wanna do multiplayer stuff. But the other reason is, the reason I'm actually content with leaving this game at 66% is because this game is all about hell and demons and the devil. And 66% is as close as I can get to 666%, so 666. 
And I just think that for the game, Doom, that's a, that's a very coincidental percentage I got stuck on, and I'm happy to leave it there. Uh, God of War, this is a game you guys saw me do on my channel. I ended up quitting the Let's Play, but I did finish the game on my personal account, and I finally just got the Platinum. This is one I was actually really worried. I didn't think I'd be able to do it because of this trophy right here uh, for defeating the nine Valkyries. Uh, the last Valkyrie, the Valkyrie Queen, is one of the toughest boss fights I've ever done in a video game, even on the game's easiest difficulty and even with the best armor and weapons in the game. This was very, very tough. It took me like two days to get it and I was screaming. I raged at this game harder than I've raged in a long time. So this is one that I ended up being very proud of in the end. Batman Arkham Asylum. So you saw earlier I, I platinum the PS4 version of the game. And you can see this is the PS3 version of the game. So I just did a walkthrough for this game where I did it on hard and I took no damage and I was perfectly stealthy. And uh, I decided to play it on PS3 this time around because um, I got a PS3 and I wanted to do something with the graphics because the graphics are different. And I ended up just getting the Platinum a second time. So that was kind of cool. And then this Platinum right here, I actually just unlocked about 15 minutes before recording this video. This is for Bioshock, the PS4 version. Um, this was a very fun Platinum. I played this game back in high school, but I forgot how good it was. Um, I, I really did forget how good it was. So this was a fun Platinum to unlock. You can see I just recently got it. And um, I don't know if I'm going to play Bioshock 2 or Bioshock Infinite because I don't know if I liked it that much. But... Um, I'll see, I don't know. I, I definitely won't bring it to YouTube because this isn't a game that I want to play for YouTube, but it's still a fun game and I would recommend it to most people. And you can see here there are some DLC related trophies, which I, I do plan on getting because these aren't that difficult. Uh, I just, I didn't want to sit down and do it yet because I wanted to take a little break from the game. But uh, yeah, there you go guys. I wanted this video to be about 25 minutes. Looks like I went a little over. But that is my trophy collection. So once again, you can see my stats. I'm at level 16. I have uh, just over 1,500 trophies, 33 platinums, and um, some games in the future. That so now that I have so now I'm very content with my trophy list. Like I, I'm happy with where I am for every single game on here. So now I'm okay with adding new games to the list. So some games I plan on adding soon are Resident Evil Zero, Resident Evil One. Uh, Evil Within 1, Evil Within 2, and then I also got a lot of games through the free like PlayStation games of the month, which I want to play. So um, I'm excited to keep trophy running, especially since now every game on this list, I have it. I'm fine with where I'm at. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked looking at my trophy collection. I understand that some of you don't care. Most of you probably don't care about trophies. But a lot of you do. And like I said, um, a couple of my favorite YouTubers, they've made videos like this where they showed off their trophy collection. And I really enjoyed it just because I liked to see what kind of trophies they were in the getting. And so now hopefully this gave you an insight into the type of games I like to play. You can see there's a lot of horror games on there. The Uncharted franchise, the Batman franchise. Um, and, and hopefully it gave you an insight into the type of trophies I like to go for and the type of challenges I like to give myself when it comes to gaming. But anyway, guys... Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know what uh, what trophies I had that were cool. What are some of the harder games you've gotten the Platinum Trophy for? And uh, yeah, that's about it. So once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.